This information is provided for public education purposes only and is not intended to substitute for a manufacturer's directions or consultation with a licensed pharmacist or healthcare professional. All medication, including those available over the counter, can be harmful if not used as directed and taking more than one medication could result in harmful drug interactions. Please consult a licensed pharmacist or healthcare professional before taking any medication or changing an already approved or prescribed medication plan. Hello, my name is Zach and I'm a student pharmacist at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences. Today, I am here to talk to you about your medication, Oseltamivir. Oseltamivir is also known by the brand name Tamiflu. Tamiflu comes in capsule and oral suspension dosage forms. Tamiflu is taken for treatment or prevention of influenza infection, also known as the flu. For treatment, Tamiflu is taken twice daily, but for prevention, it is taken once daily. Tamiflu works best if taken within two days of the start of symptoms or exposure to the flu. How often and how long you take Tamiflu can be different depending on what you are taking it for, so make sure you take it as instructed. It is important to finish this medication, even if symptoms disappear. Tamiflu can be taken with or without food, but if stomach upset occurs, take it with food. Tamiflu works best if you take it on schedule. If you miss a dose, take the missed dose as soon as you think about it. If it is close to your next dose, skip the missed dose and go back to your normal dosing schedule. Do not take two doses at the same time or extra doses. Tamiflu cannot be used to treat a cold and be aware that you can still spread the flu while taking Tamiflu. Some common side effects of Tamiflu are headache, upset stomach, diarrhea, and vomiting. Some less common side effects of Tamiflu are pain and nausea. Some rare side effects of Tamiflu include abnormal thinking or behavior, swelling, anxiety, feeling cold, trouble thinking, nightmares, seizures, and skin rash. Do not take Tamiflu if you are taking probenicid or within two weeks of getting a flu shot. While taking Tamiflu, remember, it is important to tell your doctor or pharmacist if you have signs of an allergic reaction, such as rash, hives, itching, tightness in the chest, trouble breathing, swallowing or talking, swelling of the face, tongue or throat. If you have a change in thinking, changes in behavior, problem speaking, shakiness, seizures or hallucinations. If you have signs of Stevens-Johnson syndrome, such as red, blistered, swollen or peeling skin with or without fever, red or irritated eyes or sores in the mouth, throat, nose or eyes. If your condition does not improve, or you have new or worsening symptoms, or if you start taking new medications, vitamins, or supplements. Tamiflu liquid should be stored in the refrigerator. Shake well before giving a dose and measure doses carefully using a measured spoon, cup, or oral syringe. Thank you for watching, and if you have any further questions, please contact your pharmacist or local healthcare provider. This information is provided for public education purposes only and is not intended to substitute for a manufacturer's directions or consultation with a licensed pharmacist or healthcare professional. All medication, including those available over the counter, can be harmful if not used as directed and taking more than one medication could result in harmful drug interactions. Please consult a licensed pharmacist or healthcare professional before taking any medication or changing an already approved or prescribed medication plan.